When you create e-learning modules or interactive videos, you might want to upload them to your online portfolio, a website, or just share them on social media. In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to do this with Google Cloud Platform. This powerful tool is basically free, or at least it's very inexpensive to use. It's really one of the best cheap hosting platforms available for interactive media today. Hi there, it's Kimberly Go bringing you tips and tools to take interactive video to the next level. If you're creating e-learning or interactive videos, you'll need to store your published files somewhere. Some organizations store them in an LMS. Others upload them directly to their website using an FTP tool like FileZilla. If that's not possible for you, check out Google Cloud Platform, also known as Google Cloud Console. This tutorial won't cover all of Google Cloud Platform's features because that would be way too complex. Instead, we'll simply focus on how to upload your interactive media files so you can share them with the world. Let's dive right in. First, let's get a quick overview of the possible tools you might use to share e-learning modules and interactive videos. Interactive media usually requires a special sharing method. You can't simply save the files on Dropbox, Google Drive, or YouTube and expect the interactive elements to work. If you have a current Articulate Storyline 360 subscription, you can easily share links with Articulate Review. However, if you're using Articulate's free trial, you'll need to publish your files using some other method before your trial runs out. If you're using Camtasia, you can share links with Screencast, or you can export the file with the TechSmith Smart Player, as I mentioned in previous videos. I'll include links to those videos in the show notes below. Other hosting options include Amazon S3, also known as AWS S3, FileZilla, TempShare, SCORMCloud, and Google Cloud Platform. Each tool has its own pros and cons, but I found Google Cloud Platform to be one of the best cloud storage solutions for e-learning and interactive videos. As we go through this tutorial, keep in mind that Google is constantly improving their tools, so your screen might look slightly different than what you see here. Also, this method is best for creating publicly shareable links, not for SCORM tracking. If you need a way to track learner results with SCORM, you may want to consider a free LMS like Moodle, or perhaps try SCORM Cloud instead. To get started with Google Cloud, sign up for a free account at cloud.google.com backslash free. This will give you 5 gigabytes of free storage space if you're based in the United States. Agree to the terms and press continue to set up your account. Next, go to the Cloud Resource Manager to create your project. You'll only need one project to contain all of your uploads. You'll need to enable billing for your project by entering a credit card. However, your credit card won't be charged unless you manually upgrade to a paid account. Even if you do choose to upgrade, the cost of hosting e-learning modules is extremely low, sometimes just a few cents per month. If you have questions about how the billing works, I'll include a link in the show notes below. Next, go to the storage browser to create what is called a bucket. A bucket is simply a container that stores a bunch of objects. In this case, your bucket will store all of your e-learning modules and interactive videos. You'll only need to create one bucket to hold all of your objects. It takes a bit of time to set up the first time around, but after that you won't need to go through this setup process again. Give your bucket a meaningful name that fits your brand because this name will show up in the browser tab whenever your e-learning or interactive video runs. In this case, I'll call my bucket Kimberly Go. Then I'll click the multi-region button, select United States, and click Create. Once your bucket has been created, you'll see the bucket's page and a message telling you that your bucket is ready. Next, you'll set up your bucket so everything inside is publicly visible. This will allow you to easily share public links to your e-learning modules or interactive videos. Here's how to do that. Click the three dots next to the bucket and choose Edit Bucket Permissions. We're going to set permissions so all users can view all of the objects stored inside of this bucket. Choose Add Member, then type All Users with no space. Under Select a Role, scroll down until you see Cloud Storage and then select Storage Object Viewer. Then press Save. When you see the question, are you sure you want to make this resource public? Choose Allow Public Access. That's it! You've made your bucket public. Now I'll show you how to upload an e-learning module or an interactive video to your bucket and share the link. So I've created a storyline file with Articulate Storyline 360 and published it for the web. That's the folder that I'm going to upload to my bucket. First I go to console.cloud.google.com and log into my account. Click on the storage icon in the resources box. Click on your bucket to look inside. 
You may want to keep your bucket organized by creating folders inside of it, one folder for each e-learning project or interactive video. I'll create a folder called Storyline Workplace Warzone. Then I'll click that folder to go inside it. When I drag the Storyline folder from my desktop onto the Storyline Workplace Warzone folder, the upload begins. You'll see green check marks appear next to each file as they're uploaded, and a message will flash briefly on the screen telling you that your upload is complete. Click on the uploaded folder to see what's inside. What we're looking for is one particular file called story.html. This is the file you'll use to generate your public link. Steve's workplace is a war zone. His team is composed of star players who don't get along. Click on Copy URL for that file and you'll have a link that you can paste into an email document or website just like a YouTube link. Then you can send e-learning modules to SMEs for review, add samples to your online portfolio, or share your work with the world on social media. The reason Google Cloud Platform is one of the best hosting solutions for interactive media is that it doesn't matter what tool you originally use to create your product. You can use the same upload procedure for many different types of files and store all of your interactive media in one place. If you're using Storyline 360, look for the file called story.html to create your public link. For older versions of Storyline, the file name might be story underscore html5. The file name will be different when you publish e-learning or interactive video with other tools. Most of the time, the file you'll use to generate the public link will be called index.html. This is true if you're publishing in Articulate Rise, Adobe Captivate, or a number of other types of tools. Other than that, the procedure is exactly the same. Google Cloud Platform is just one of many tools that you could use to store interactive media files. What tools do you like to use? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that like button to let me know. And be sure to subscribe so you'll get more content like this as soon as it's uploaded. To see top interactive video examples plus a review of the best software tools to use, check out this video next.